This is a factory original hardtop for the midget. This came off of my brother's, came with my brother's 1970 midget, um, which was found in a cornfield in Ohio, which is why it says right here, OSU, Ohio State University. The floors are pretty well rotted out, and there really wasn't anything to save it any reason to save the car except that it had really nice parts and a lot of really great factory original stuff. The engine looks immaculate and so forth. We plan on, I, I plan on restoring this hard top. Uh, my local MG club is going to be dropping by shortly to help me dismantle it and assess the damage. We're going to be removing these lock strips. I'm learning how to do that. Pop out the windows. Store those in a safe location. Assess all of the little tiny cracks that you see in here whatever dings and dents and chips there might be and some of these actually become more apparent when it's wet there's even a pretty bad nick right here um, take off the gutters I just um, put some caulk in there to try and seal it up because the seals underneath were pretty bad and it was just directing water underneath onto my leg uh, obviously the fuzzy weather strip in here needs to go. It is fuzzy. I don't know if I can get the right profile for that, but we're going to try. And just whatever else needs to be replaced. Certainly at some point it's going to get all sand, sanded down and resurfaced. Um, a friend of mine in the club has offered to paint it if I just pay for the paint. So that's a pretty good deal. Should be a really inter interesting project and I don't think too many other people have tried it before. Um, down here of course we do have the mounting brackets. See if we can find them. Ah, there's one. And then over here, on the other side, there's the other. And those just bolt straight onto the car at the following locations. Here on the right side, right where the hood, the convertible top um, frame bolts in. And the bolt would go straight through here on this side. And then, of course, the, the front edge clamps on where the convertible top normally would. Now I have flipped it over. You can see the clamps in the front. This one actually has uh, some cocoon that an insect made in it, which is what happens when it sits in a cornfield forever and ever. As you can see all the seals and stuff are pretty badly rotted. Right here there's a, an extra bolt hole, there's another one on the other side, so one wonders if this um, was at some point on a, on a car that with different spacing there. Um, seems like it was sort of universal, it could be there or there. I'm probably going to patch up the extra holes because it's a little unsightly. But I'm going to try and talk to some other people about that because I want to preserve some originality. Um, the headliner is also made of fiberglass. The whole thing seems to be double walled in construction. Um, it's a little bit warped in here. As you can see I'm pushing down on it and it sort of pops back into place. And I don't know if there's any way to fix that, but it would be nice if we could figure it out. And even inside there's some cracking and chipping. I do want to somehow figure out how to preserve the texturing in this because it's supposed to look like cloth. If you can see very carefully, I'm going to try and bring this into focus manually. Let's see here. Yeah, now you can sort of see the, the texture that's here. This is all, this is the way it looks all the way over it. It's supposed to look like some kind of cloth. Um, very, very coarsely woven, and I kind of like the way that looks. Although I do want it to be a lot, uh, a lot brighter, a lot cleaner looking. So that's going to be the, the goal for that. Um, for this particular strip, 
we can see right here it's sort of badly smashed on there it looks like the whole thing is just sort of glued in place with some kind of adhesive and it goes all the way around like that yeah again you can still sort of see where some of the adhesive is holding fast in there it's torn loose in, into a couple different pieces over on that side fortunately though it still see, seems to seal out the rain pretty well back here it's always been a problem around um, the scudder piece here and some of the screws haven't even screwed back in the last time I tried to install that correctly this is just a standard um, header rail that you can get for the hard the convertible top along with the header rail seal for it just a standard piece the rest of it looks like it's going to be a little tricky to find um, these windows are not currently available in any aftermarket or um, Moss Motors catalog or anything like that so I'm definitely going to have to take special care with those uh, I hope this episode has been helpful and fun and informative. I'll get back to you with more information on my project car as it arises. Thank you.